Indeed, Nelun Foundation is doing a fantastic job. All you have to do is to jump on their website to see the kind of work that Nelun Foundation is doing in servicing the needs of uh, the most unfortunate people, people who have been diagnosed with cancer, the cancer patients. And uh, the founder of that, Nelun Rajapakshay, is with me and it gives me great pleasure to welcome Nelun to our uh, program. Nelun, welcome Thank to Aussie Indian. Thanks for finding time to be with us uh, today. And uh, the, I, I just had a look at the website and it's absolutely mind-boggling the kind of work that uh, you have embarked on in your life. And uh, this must uh, have been motivated by something in your life. Uh, if you can tell us a little bit about that. Firstly, thank you Raj for having me here. And uh, of course, this foundation was set up based on my own personal experience. I was diagnosed with cancer in year 2000. Um, it wasn't a very good prognosis at the time and I was determined that if I made it through that I wanted to do something back for the cancer community to help fight this disease with dignity and that's when I first started and there by the grace of God I this is the 13th year and I'm in remission and um, so I want to be able to do a lot more for the cancer patients because not uh, my, my primary motivation is for all cancer patients to receive equality of care irrespective of their financial or social circumstances. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's been as you said 13 years and uh, uh, how has been the progress uh, after you started the foundation? Are you happy with the way in which it has progressed? Um, it's been one of the most rewarding experiences mm -hmm. in those 13 years. We have raised about 13 million dollars. Right. Um, we care for all cancer patients irrespective of the type of tumour they have. Right and all ages, so right from children to adults. Right. And one of our major um, initiatives have been, some of our major initiatives have been providing free transport, complimentary transport to take patients home mm -hmm. and back from their treatment. Right. We fund resources um, like cancer care nurses and clinical psychologists, but the two most um, important projects challenging projects that we have taken is to create cancer centers, world-class cancer centers mm -hmm. and we have just completed one cancer center at Darlinghurst um, in St. Vincent's at a uh, cost of 2.5 million dollars right. which provides world-class cancer treatment for all cancer patients that go to that mm -hmm. center irrespective of their financial circumstances. Right. And now we've embarked on an even bigger project, which is replicating that cancer centre at Darlinghurst on seven floors at the Prince of Wales Hospital mm -hmm. in Randwick, right. which is called the Nelun Comprehensive Cancer Centre. Yeah, I saw it on the website as yes, well. Yes, yeah. and we're trying to raise five million dollars mm -hmm. to establish that new centre. Right. So what kind of services do you provide to the patients who are suffering from cancer? Um, within that new cancer centre we provide um, chemotherapy, mm -hmm. radiation. Uh, it's a holistically, um, uh, it's a, it's a, it's the nature of that centre is to provide a holistic approach for patients mm -hmm. so that their mind, body and spirit will be looked after because chemotherapy and radiation will attack the body but you've also got to have a strong mind and be Absolutely. prepared so we're providing psychological services and uh, proper exercise, yoga, meditation, everything that will help the patient to come to terms with their illness and to give them the best possible chance mm -hmm. at fighting this disease. So in the last uh, 13 years um, apart from establishing these centres. Have you undertaken any other project? Uh, we, um, the other projects that we have done is we have found what's important. For instance, we have funded 
clinical psychologists mm -hmm. in a number of hospitals in New South Wales because whilst, as again, as I said, whilst the chemotherapy and radiation is helping the tumour to get, to, to treat that tumour, to be able to cope with it physically, psychologically, um, the cancer counsellors, the clinical psychologists have been most important. So we have funded a number of them through the hospitals and we've also funded a lot of cancer care nurses. Right. Um, often a patient sees a doctor, but in between there are so many questions that they need to ask, they need the support, and this can be provided by some of the cancer care nurses. So mm -hmm. we've uh, funded a number of resources in that okay. area. How many uh, patients, uh, how many are benefiting from uh, your uh, institute have, at this point of time? I wouldn't be exaggerating or embellishing the truth if I say that thousands of patients. Oh, really? Yes, okay. because even with transport, there's over 800 patients per annum right. that mm. use our services. So mm -hmm. that alone is a fairly large mm. number. But apart from the patients, it's their families as well that yes, benefit from that's it. Right, yeah. So we, we, we're doing a lot for the cancer community. So when I say the community, it means families as well as carers, nurses, doctors, they all get mm. uh, some sort of support from what we do. Mm. said that uh, uh, the Foundation Centre cost you $2.5 million and also now you are trying to build yes, another centre, center, yes. uh, which is costing uh, $5 million. Five million dollars. Uh, how do you raise these funds? We are basically a fundraising organisation, so we rely heavily on the community to donate. Donate, yeah. And the way we do it is by having different types of events throughout the year, um, or we ask the communities to go out and um, organise their own community event to help us. Um, off camera, I was talking to Raj about what we're doing in the new year, we're going to have a charity cricket match. Yes, yeah. uh, we have a charity golf day. We have a charity race day at Randwick Race Courses. Yes. We have swims, we have runs, and we have a black tie ball at the Four Seasons Hotel. That is our key, yes, uh, ben uh, key fundraising. It just event. happened in September. September, yeah, that's, that's right. what I'm seeing on, yes. on the website. Uh, how has been the response, uh, Nilun? No. That was one of. Uh, largest uh, fundraising events and we raised over a million dollars that okay. night, yes, and we had some key um, mm, donors, donors mm. there, which which was wonderful, but we also have um, large organisations like Optus, my employer, they're one of my biggest financial really? supporters. Mm. Okay. Um, well, uh, in addition to community support and also various uh, corporate donors and other donors, do you get any support from the government at all? The, this um, centre that we're building, the um, Maloon Comprehensive Cancer Centre at Randwick, is primarily funded by the state government. Okay. The entire hospital itself is going to cost $80 million. Okay. And the government gave us $70 million okay. too. So it's the shortfall of that. That you're trying that to That we're trying to. And, mm -hmm. and we, the University of New South Wales has funded a couple of floors okay. and the Nadoon Foundation now has to find this five million dollars mm, yeah. that we're trying to. So the government has supported us in that instance and also when we um, fund resources, once we know that we have, it's, it's like um, seeding grants, once they know that it's working and it's needed, the government has taken on and helped oh, okay. us with it. Yes. Right. So. Um, it's, uh, Absolutely fantastic, and of course, uh, uh, you also talked about uh, the uh, addressing the mental issues of those patients, and you also talked about the Eastern therapies like yoga, meditation yes. techniques. Uh, which uh, how how far have uh, the East institutes recognized the value of, uh, for example, yoga and meditation in bringing this mental um, balance in those patients? I, most of the hospitals have recognized the value of mm -hmm. um, meditation and yoga, mm -hmm. but it's not something that they push people because it's it's up to each individual mm. to to embrace it. So what 
they have done is they have said it's available, but it's not mandatory. Right. Uh, but we are pleasantly surprised at the number of people that are taking um, mm. use of those services provided. It's, it's everything. It's your diet. Um, it's physiotherapy. It's it's yoga. It's uh, the only thing that's not included in it is, is acupuncture. All right. Yes. Um, of course, if uh, some of those viewers uh, who are looking at this program and want to uh, volunteer or donate, uh, how would they be able to do that? Um, they can get in touch with the Nalurin Foundation mm -hmm. uh, by visiting our website, website yep. which is, um, well, hopefully Raj might put it at the bottom yep, of the screen, will, yeah. what the website is, and then we can take them, we can use their skills to, to find out where we could fit them mm -hmm. in to volunteer. But um, with, if you want to do a community fundraising event, it's entirely up to you mm -hmm. how you plan to do that. And we are happy to try and help you in any way we can right. to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have survived thus far and raised $30 million only because of the generous community and their willingness to help a good cause. Mm. Because I always say to people, when, when you are donating and when you are helping these pa patients, don't just look at them as people we don't know. It, it, it's somewhere along the line, these, are, these patients are someone's father, someone's mother, someone's brother, someone's wife. They are family of someone. And so if you have that empathy towards your own family, you, know, mm. you think, this is someone's family that's going through a very difficult time and and most people don't like to ask and this is our opportunity to help them in the best way we can mm -hmm. and make their journey that much lighter. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. There you go, viewers. Uh, the website is at the bottom of the screen and uh, Nilun has given you a call to come and volunteer and also if you are a community organization, feel free to uh, organize a fundraising function and uh, get some help from Nilun. And uh, also, if uh, you are just an individual who wants to donate, you are welcome to do so. And if there is one final message, Nilun, if you want to send out to our viewers who are looking at this program and who are contemplating to help, what would that be? Um, this is one of, you know, before I was diagnosed with cancer, I, I lived a very insular life because I thought my life was perfect the way it was. Actually helping someone is one of the most rewarding things that has ever happened to me. And even if you don't decide to help our foundation, look for something that is close to your heart, something that you're passionate about, and go and do it. Because it, it's honestly something that money can't buy. Um, the sense of achievement, the sense of contentment, and the feeling of being rewarded is unthinkable. So go out there and do something good for someone. You'll actually begin to enjoy it. Thank Hello. you. Thank you very much for coming along. My I really pleasure. appreciate that. Thank you, Raj. And all the very best and uh, hopefully this uh, message that you have given to our viewers uh, will be taken up by some of them and uh, we look forward to be of help to you in your future endeavours. Thank you, Raj, and I hope that I can take you out to the Nalun Comprehensive Cancer Centre one day and maybe we could film it outside and show people what it's going to look like. Absolutely. And say thank you for their support. Yes. Yes, I'd love to be able to do that. Absolutely. We take up that offer. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank Raj. you so much, Raj.